We're going to be going down one tenth of a mile here to Francis Canyon Pueblito. It's a very spectacular example of Pueblito architecture. It's one of the largest Pueblitos. It is also under the jurisdiction of the Bureau of Land Management. This site was excavated by Earl Morris in 1915 and he removed uh, most of the stratigraphic context uh, associated with the site so that there's very, very little here to find. These sites would not stand up to the arms, armament, and might of the Spanish uh, military. However, uh, they would stand up to defense against raiding from other local native groups. And in our case here, it's probably specifically the Utes. The Utes are specifically looking to uh, gain captives uh, for slavery. Um, slavery is important because it's significant in terms of obtaining horses. The Navajos are raiding as well, and they're, they're moving into the margins of the Rio Grande Valley. They're hitting the Pueblos in some cases. They're hitting uh, the Spanish Rancheros in some places, uh, and they're taking sheep. But I find it interesting is that from what we know in the historical documentation, they never steal all the sheep. They leave some so they can come back next year and they can steal more sheep. And this site would serve multiple purposes. Yes, it is for defense, but it's also for storage. It is a habitation, and one this size is probably not just a seasonal habitation. It would also be possibly public architecture, that maybe a large extended family would live here, however, during a raid or if there was some problem going on, that their neighbors might come here and then also seek refuge in a site like this. These communities are probably interconnected with communities that exist at the same time period in Largo Canyon. These small holes that you see, these small openings in the masonry are called loopholes. And they're for viewing out of or even potentially shooting out of. And as you see in the tower, some loopholes are angled down to view access points. The hooded fireplace is over in this room here, and it's a very, very unique feature. And I think that this hooded fireplace is a direct adaptation from the Spanish, uh, plastered, a wooden framework, plastered with adobe, uh, and then an open hole in the roof uh, to let the smoke and the sparks go out. You would have to plaster it, or the sparks would set it on fire. This is one of the larger towers, and uh, has uh, multiple rooms as well as multiple stories and it's in direct association of course with a larger room block. Access into the tower is through a short stairway into one room and then you have to go through a crawlway um, pretty much on your belly into the next room and from there you can access the tower. Um, I should point out that you shouldn't walk on the roof that is over the initial room that you go in because it is an original roof and is very fragile. There's a lot more here than meets the eye. There are uh, walls that are completely uh, eroded to grade out here. There's room blocks that carry out that way. This is a big site. 